Hey folks, thanks again for tuning in to another episode series of Day at the Dude Ranch. I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to take on this, but I'm going to try to edit as tight as I can, uh, mostly because uh, I really want you all to participate in this one. This is going to be a very special build. As you can see, I've got a lot of things going on here. Um, this one is going to be a jazz master shaped body but it's going to be like a telly build and it's going to be baritone pretty much everything i'm doing now is baritones except for this build which is kind of fun which is why i'm doing this so again we've got uh, a lot of poplar here a lot of this is getting painted that one's actually going to get blonded um so that's pretty cool that's the terminology right blonded oh i think only in the guitar world um this one's going to be a b7 yeah matt look i already got it marked out for you know which one we're doing because uh, you see that one's the traditional B shape, not the extra funky point two models. So anyway, so I've got a lot to do with those. Uh, oh, those are poplar. This one's basswood. Look at that one, Adam. He said he wanted to make sure it was basswood, like some nice and light. There you go, buddy. And that one's probably the next one to get out of here in the list of uh, pecking order of things to get done um but yeah as some of you may know uh, about a year or so ago i think yeah right right at the beginning of the lockdown actually right before it all happened i made a very special base for my my buddy spike mike of the spice pistols now in the meantime they had you know limited showing because you know how that goes with the whole lockdown some some shows go some shows didn't um so uh you know he's been doing the best he can is that is wait let's stop the intro right there because in the meantime spike mike happened to be uh stopping by he brought over some stuff for me to help with this base build uh i thought what we would do is we would just get the story straight from uh the dude's mouth so what, what do you think mike you want to tell the story hey, first look at that that is beautiful the two it's going backwards it's a lefty no it's, my, my first it's, lefty it's not backwards to the person that designed it oh yeah that's that's right? true it's, yeah. it's 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 right way it's right ways to a left-handed person exactly <laughs> all right anyway yeah. let's put that down so uh, as you can see we are a uh, work in progress here i've got the uh, extra shed going and uh yeah but uh, in the meantime mike you came by you brought us the, the lights for the yes for the harry scary and the harry scary cool. 2.0 that's right two. and we're we're gonna make 2.0 and then 2.0 b we're gonna make two yes. of them yes yeah uh, because you're a damn good human uh, well and and a damn good luthier like right straight from harry <laughs> scary spice's mouth <laughs> For well, real. Well, tell the story. Why, tell people why we're making yet another one, and then the second. What, what, what happened? Well, the, the the simple reason why we're making yet another one is because my house burned down um, on October fifth, two thousand and twenty-one. I was awakened at five a.m. by my roommate kicking my door open and yelling fire. Um, he had been. He woke up to go to work um, by his alarm clock. Thank God for alarm clocks, and uh, found the house full of smoke and on fire. And saved my life, you know. You know, Alan Stewart. Um, he, he he saved my life, you know. And and uh, so the house burned down. In my front room, I had just two weeks prior, I had hung up all of my bases, my collection of bases. I had a total of twenty-eight bases, and uh, I had my mom's nineteen forty-one Delapi accordion that I just restored. It was worth like ten grand. Um, she had passed in April, and yeah. so like all of the family heirlooms had just come to my house. And uh, anyways, the the fire took all of that. And um, you know, my buddy James here, who built the first Harry Scary Heart Base, which if you look up Spice Pistols online, you'll find lots of live footage on uh, Facebook and YouTube and stuff of our band, and you'll see the hairy scary heart base that Man, was... you were rocking that thing oh you guys you went uh, like just pretty much all northwest right yeah or... we did we did the northwest uh we did three weeks in northwest with agent orange in august and um which was an incredibly successful tour even though we were driving through all the fires and the smoke and yeah. all the other crap that was going on it was you know heat waves and 
Yeah, that was an amazing tour, and um, we were very well received. Um, we we just signed a record deal with Pacific Records, um, which is that's not you know that's a, uh, let's call it a soft announcement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but we do have a, a new record coming out through them, an amazing label. Um, and like we've written a bunch of new music. Yeah, we're not a cover band. We do do covers, but there right. are our own arrangements and versions of Spice Girl songs played Sex Pistol style in drag. <laughs> so now you really want to look that stuff up, right? Um, yeah, check these guys out. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's kind of a farce on the tribute band scene. Yes. in a way so it's kind of it's you know it's all about the show these guys great showmen i mean just fantastic i mean too it, it's all about having a good time you know when you go out to a spice pistol show you're you're gonna have a good time i mean that's oh, yeah. what it's all about yeah well have see, fun the, and, and who doesn't deserve having a good time right now uh, i mean that's the thing is like we are are fortunate to be in a position where we can take people out of their problems like it, it is. There is an element of shock. I mean, when you see my hairy belly, if you're not shocked, then <laughs> you know maybe we should date. Um, but <laughs> it's your B-roll here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, that's the blessing, isn't it? We are all skilled musicians in the band, but we're also as much entertainers as we are musicians. I mean, that's where our hearts really lie. Um, Doug Walker. Um, John Risden, Michael Fairchild, and myself, and um, you know, it's it's been it's a wonderful trip to be able to take people out of their reality. When you see them right there with you, you know you've done a good thing that day. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's <laughs> that's awesome. And and w what better thing than we could do than to make sure that you uh, you get the, the Harry Scary bass back, uh, or you know, at least the 2.0 version. And, yeah, and what and and what's really what's really cool is you know, in a way. Uh, we know that w we set this thing up. You contacted me about a couple weeks before uh, there was supposed to be a, a San Diego Music Award show. This is all right, right. The COVID lockdown just shut us down. But we didn't know that. And we built that thing in like eight days. Yeah. And uh, so th yeah. there were some things that finished wasn't quite cured. There were some issues that we that we had. And I never made a heart shaped bass before. Uh, I thought it was just going to be like making a base only hard shape, but there there were a few things different, and then you modified it with the lights later. So there were a lot of things that were changed to that base as it kind of grew. Yes. That now we could, you know, run with from the drawing board. Well, and, and, and so that's going to be cool. Things in a more in a more efficient manner, an effective manner, I think too. Yeah. 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 Okay. You've got the tools and the skill and the vision. We actually share the vision on this thing. We both understand yeah. the purpose. And aside from all the mess around here, we'll we'll get this thing going. So uh, I appreciate you coming by, bringing the lights, because like I said, it's going to be like an integrated uh, part of the design now. So yes. it's not going to be such an afterthought. And uh, we're <laughs> this is going to be cool. Again, you know, if you haven't checked out the, the B-roll, uh, which I, I hope to add, then at least go check out uh, the sites, you know, the Spice Pistols uh, info. And do that anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. Because yeah. you'll get more more thorough detail. You'll get to see, you know, just what he does with this this bass on on stage is going to be pretty cool. And, and we're going to get it rocking again. Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, and YouTube. You'll find evidence of our leavings. <laughs> <laughs> and all those links will be in the description too. All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.